Hello everybody, this is Moses from Zotar Gardens. It's gonna rain here in a little bit, so I gotta hurry up. But I've had issues with my, let me just ultra wide, with my um, uh, Saturn peach donut peach. It's gonna be beautiful flowers. Um, a lot of compliments about this tree, but this tree sometimes gets a uh, bore. So I'll show you some right here and I'll show you damage I already uh, pulled off. I'm gonna show you what I do to correct the problem. Cause you don't wanna, you wanna stay organic. You don't wanna dump a bunch of poison on the floor to kill them. So here's some damage from a bore. So they're easy to find. You're looking for dead wood. And, and if you see sap coming out, you're probably likely going to have a bore issues. So I peeled it all off. Doesn't seem like too much damage, um, luckily. But when I stood here, I came to this side and I saw there was a lot of damage. There was a lot of, um, of uh, I would, I don't know how to exactly say it, like flat, you can see it right here. Perfect. You can see it right here. You see just healthy, plump uh, cambium layer, and then it goes flat right there. That's all dead, and that's probably because in this location, it just died back, that's all. I don't think there's any borer right there. I could test it, but it's okay. So with this one, you wanna get these this off if there's a cut on top, this uh, flat cambium, cambium layer, dead area. If there's a cut up top, this becomes a pocket for water, and this became a pocket for water right here, and it grew mildew under the bark. But right here, I don't know if I could, you guys can see it, right there is a hole. So I'm gonna dig that out a little bit. I'm gonna put uh, neem oil inside. And then I'm gonna put the dimetaceous earth with water right here to protect this from the sun. A trick that my grandfather taught me, uh, he had a very large apple orchard in Lebanon, uh, very successful as well. A lot of people came from around Lebanon to go and eat his apples. When you find boars, this is what he told me when he, or demonstrated, I was very young. When you find boars, get a, you know, the kebab stick like this, just stick it in and see if it goes anywhere. And if it does keep pushing that direction. So right now it was easy to go that way. So keep going in that direction. And then in a moment, I'm going to show you the concoction I make. You start spraying it in there and it slowly and slowly the wood, this dead wood, this is all dead wood. Even if it has cambium layer, it's still dead inside. This is just a bone structure. This wood will still absorb the uh, spray that I'm going to put on it. So just find out where it goes. And I have another video online about when I put a air compressor, little canister upside down to spray that cold part of it in, in the hole. And oh, if the bug, if the boar is close by, it w most likely would have killed it. So I'll link up that video right now. But let me show you what I spray with right now. Okay, right here is what I use uh, when I spray uh, my trees uh, if in dormancy. I also put dormant spray oil. I'm just not gonna do that right now. So this is liquid copper, mild hand soap, neem oil extract, and kale and clay. This is gonna help uh, deter any insects and also coat the surface so the sun doesn't damage the open wood. Then I just make the mixture, shake it up, and I'm ready to go. Then all you do is spray. And then give it a couple coats. Let that dry a little bit, but it's gonna rain soon. Or it is, it's sprinkling right now. Let that dry and then give it another coat. And make sure to get in that bore hole and let that soak. All right, everybody. Happy gardening. Bye.